Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe, Zoe Chat here on YouTube, and I will link my Poshmark and Mercari closet down below in the description. Thanks so much for tuning in to watch this video today. If you haven't yet, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can see when I have new videos come out. Mostly I do hauls and unboxings. Um, I do plan to do some what solds. I've been doing a couple experiments and I want to do an update on how those have been going. Um, but also, if you want to like this video, if you enjoy this content, let me know. And please feel free to comment down below and let me know how you think I did on this haul and if you have any favorite pieces. Um, today, I did not have a super low cost of average cost of goods. I did leave. I, there was this really beautiful Patagonia coat. But when I got to the register, I saw there was a hole in the arm and there were just a couple more stains than I noticed. And it was marked to $20. And if, if it had been in better condition, I'm sure I could sell it for $100. But... I don't know, with that little hole. I mean, it was a men's extra, extra large. Maybe if I go back and it's still there and it's half off, if I go and it's red tag, maybe tomorrow's red tag, I don't know, today's orange tag, you know, I would pay $10 for it in that condition. Um, but, um, I, you know, I did leave a couple of things. So today, I didn't spend that much time at the store. I spent like just under an hour, and I really hit the dresses hard. So you'll see I got a bunch of dresses, and it's really funny, three of them are the same brand. Uh, maybe I'll donate by the same person, but one was new with tags. And at this time of year going into Q4, knowing people are buying gifts, I love to find anything new with tags. But first, there were two pairs of Hoka's, actually, and these are Hoka One Ones. Now, these, um, let's see, it's a, uh, you can't see. These are the One 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 One. Um, and these are a women's size 7, I believe. I mean, they are, definitely they have some wear, but there's still some life left in the treads. And again, you know, even in rough condition, these sell. Now, this one is in better condition. This one has a little bit of damage here at the back of the heel. But I'm going to clean these up and get those listed. Um, you know, maybe get 40, 50 bucks for them. We'll see. So these <laughs> were not half off. And that's my bad. But it looks like they could still probably get 40, 45 bucks for them. Um, and I just, I haven't found this style in a long time. So I just wanted to get them. But these are Dojo. And they are a crop, but they're like a flared crop. Um, and it seems like these are selling. And these are a good size. These are a size 28. So, you know, I saw these. It's been a long time since that pocket has jumped out at me from the racks. So I went ahead and picked it up. Okay, now really basically everything else is a dress. Because as I told you, I went through all the dresses very carefully today. This one is... Eliza J. It's a size two. It's navy. It's like a jersey knit. And it has this v-neck front. And then it has these cool pockets with these beautiful gold button details in the front. So it's just like a sheath dress. But I think the neck gives it some sort of pizzazz. And I don't know, it was half off. And like I said, I spent a lot of time in dresses today. Of course, I didn't find like season appropriate dresses, but I bought them anyway. This was a really great deal because this is a kid's dress and it was half off. So this was like $1.99. This is mini Bowden, but how great is that? It's just blue and white stripe. And it has this button detail on the shoulder. And then it has these pockets with the yellow accent with the button details in the front. And I just thought that was adorable. It's a size 11 to 12 years. I just think that's great. Go ahead and get that listed. Okay. This, I just thought was pretty. This, it's going to be a little hard to show. You can see it's got a belt tie that's already cinched around it. And it's got like a little bit of a tiered on the skirt, this light coral. It looks like it's a linen, but knowing the brand, I'm not sure that that's the case. It does have pockets. Uh, oh, the material tag's probably on the inside, yes. Yeah, it's rayon and spandex. It's fully lined. It has this great, like, little double button at the back of the neck. And this is the Torrid. It's a size 3, so it's a 3X. And I just thought this was really pretty. And, you know, this is a color going into fall, you know, with, like, a brown suede coat, some cowboy boots. That would still be really cute. This is just an athletic dress, but this is... This is Athleta, size small, sorry about the lighting. It's just this cute sort of empire waist, lavender, v-neck dress. But again, I do pretty well with these athletic dresses and it's half off, so I want to take a chance. Only three more things. I told you it was a quick haul today. 
So this is so fun. I found two of the exact same. This is Horny Toad. So this is before it became Toad and Company. It's a size large. And it's this great sort of light V dress. And it has the one pocket in front. And this is in a really bright, fun coral color. And then the same dress in this fun sort of deeper pink color. Also size large, Horny Toad. Same with the single pocket. I thought that was fun. Again, obviously an older piece because it's Horny Toad, not Toad & Co, but that is okay. And then last but not least, this is my newest tags item. I thought this was fun. This is also Horny Toad, but this is a medium. I don't know if someone donated all their Horny, horny Toad, but this is sort of like a, like a cowl neck. And it also has this cool pocket on the side here. You know, and again, new with tags. Hideout dress red potato, women's size medium. So I just thought that was really fun. And this is a great fall dress. Throw this on with some tights and some boots and you're good to go. So that's all I got today. It was a quick little haul. I really, I hadn't been in for a while, as you can notice, because I haven't had a video in a while. Um, on all of those things, I spent $50.00. My average cost of goods is probably around five dollars uh unfortunately but that's okay because i'm sort of happy with what i got and i'm looking forward to getting this stuff listed and again please don't forget to like and subscribe and i love all of the comments i get below and i always write back so please feel free to leave me a comment and i will see you all again soon thanks so much for watching Bye bye